Uh, and this is a, some interesting work from Dr. Boyd, and he examined a Stone Age diet based on 3,000 calories, 35% from animal products, 65% from plant products, and compared that to the average U.S. diet as defined by the Food and Nutrition Board in 1989. And you have a ratio paleo to U.S. diet. Now, the paleo's favorite a little bit because it's 3,000 calories versus 2,000 calories, but still you see a higher proportion uh, of nutrient density for the mineral intake as compared to the U.S. diet, with the exception of sodium. And of course, we add lots and lots of refined sodium uh, to our foods. When we look at that from the vitamin intake, again, there is a much more nutrient density, higher vitamin intake, uh, ranging from two to six and a half times. So the micronutrients in general, when you're looking at a uh, traditional hunter-gatherer diet, and whether it was uh, the copied Stone Age diet from Boyd's work, or the more recent analyses of modern hunter-gatherers who are still eating their traditional foodstuffs, wild foodstuffs, they exceed the RDAs two to tenfold. So it's clearly much more nutrient-dense than the standard American diet. Uh, the Caltons uh, did some very interesting work looking at the nutrient density of standard diets, the American Heart, the ADA diet, the My Healthy Plate diet, South Beach diet, Atkins diet, uh, Practical Paleo, Primal Blueprint diets, uh, to see just how nutrient dense were these foods. Now, the U.S. average diet, you'd have to consume 27,000 calories to hit all of the RDAs for the vitamins and minerals that have established RDAs. In the paleo diets, though they were vastly more nutrient dense than the American Heart, ADA, or My Healthy Plate, they still didn't consistently meet all the RDAs. They missed about 40%. And so you would have to consume 14,000 calories. They were the most nutrient dense diet that they analyzed, so that's great news but they're still not hitting all the nutrition that we think uh, we need. So why is that? Well, uh, this is from the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Uh, Naked Calories also use this in their book, which, by the way, I recommend. It's a terrific book. Uh, they looked at the mineral content in an apple, as reported by the USDA in 1914, 1963, 1992. There was a 48% decrease in calcium, 86% decrease in phosphorus, 96% decrease in iron. The potassium held fairly well, only a 2% loss, and an 82% decrease in magnesium. And of course, that was over 10 years ago. How much further has it decreased? Now this is a similar analysis over a shorter time period in meat, four ounces of chicken, and, four, and that was chicken breast, and four ounces of ground hamburger. Conventionally grown, I'm sure. So for the chicken, there's a 20% decline in calcium, 36% in iron, 4% in potassium, 100% loss of vitamin A, 50% loss of thiamine, or B1. Uh, for the beef, 17% of calcium, 21% loss of iron, 17% loss of potassium, and 30% loss of thiamine, or B1. So in general, I think you can say that the food you and I are eating is less nutrient-dense than the food our parents ate growing up, and our grandparents ate growing up, and our great-grandparents ate growing up. That depending on the nutrient, you've lost 20 to 100% of the vitamins and uh, minerals. Again, why is that? Now, again, using U.S. Day analyses, there's been an 85% decline in the mineral content of North American soil, comparable decline in Australian and European soil uh, as well. Why is our soil mineral content declining? It used to be, now I grew up on a farm in Northeast Iowa, uh, so when I was a kid, we rotated the crops every year. 
Uh, that was a way to control uh, weeds and pests. There's no more soil rotation. We rely at ex exclusively on chemical fertilizers and herbicides. And by the way, the pesticides are getting resistant, and so now there's a conversation, what do we do about that? There may be some hope for going back to rotations. Uh, glyphosate, which is the ingredient in Roundup, chelates minerals, and it's also a very potent antibiotic. It is killing the soil microbes, and it is making the minerals less available to plants, which is why, unless you have a Roundup-ready gene, the plants die. Um, and there, the payment for the crops is based on weight. It's not based on the amount of vitamins or minerals in that food crop. And the only taste that humans at birth are, will automatically prefer is sweet. So we have a consumer interest in sweeter taste, in more, har more carbohydrates, in the food. So the agricultural food has been shifted to more carbohydrates, more weights, you get more. Uh, so when I was growing up, you'd get 60 bushels of acre per acre in corn. That would be a, a good yield. 80 bushels would be a phenomenal yield. And now it's more than 200 bushels per acre. So you get more weight, you get more starch, but you're not getting more vitamins and minerals.